On behalf of the Georgia College community, it's a pleasure to welcome you, our new freshman class, to Georgia College. We are particularly pleased that you're here given the unique and challenging situation that the world's facing today. I'm so grateful to each of you and excited to see what wonderful talents, new ideas, and amazing contributions that you will bring, not only to this campus, but to the world in the coming years. As you know, we will be welcoming you to a face-to-face -face learning environment and doing all that we possibly can to ensure your health and well-being. As you begin your college career over the next four years, and yes, we plan to work very hard to help you achieve graduation in four years, you will learn about yourself, you will develop skills, and learn to think independently and lead creatively. You will find that you will make friends that will last your entire lifetime. Even with your mask on, your smiles will resonate with the experiences and skills that will serve you as much in life as they do in your career. Hopefully COVID-19 will be just a moment in time, but Georgia College is an experience that will last a lifetime. Now, let's talk about you, the class of 2024, for just a few minutes. Based on the statistics we have, you are quite an impressive group. According to our Office of Enrollment Management, there are 1,400 of you. Your average high school GPA is 3.6. In fact, 17 of you were valedictorian or salutatorian of your high schools. You come from all regions of Georgia, representing 110 counties, and from other states, including Alabama, Florida, Massachusetts, North Carolina, Ohio, Pennsylvania, and South Carolina and Texas. Many of you have given back to your communities through countless hours of service, and some of you have participated in mission trips. One of you spent a month in Haiti leading a children's camp. Last year, one of you won regional, state, and nationals in the Family Career and Community Leaders of America competition. Now this class includes a few students who are published authors. This class is a very artistic group. One of you has released songs on Spotify. Another one of you had your artwork displayed in the Georgia State Capitol. One of you had opportunity to sing with an honors performance choir at Carnegie Hall in New York. One of you sang with an International Honors Choir at the Sydney Opera House in Australia. And one of you plays six instruments. Many of you have served as team captains. One of you was even the founder of the Bagel Club at your high school. We also have one student who plays second in the American Institute of Architects annual competition for the state of Georgia where there were 1,000 students competing. Several of you earned your Eagle or Gold Scout awards. This year's Bobcat freshman class also includes 11 sets of twins and even one student who is a quad quadruplet. Now, speaking of Bobcats this year, we will continue our tradition of Bobcat Fridays by wearing our school colors of blue and green every Friday. Also, as a way of promoting your own health and your fellow Bobcats health, we're encouraging you to show off your fun and creative mask. We will have regular contests and spotlights on our website and social media featuring your mask wear. We really do expect you to observe social distancing and we really want you to wear a face mask. So if you don't have one, please contact the Office of Student Life so that they can help supply you with one. Now I know the first year students we have in the class of 2024 will study hard, attend class, and uphold our campus values of reason, respect, and responsibility, and that you'll succeed in your chosen major. And I am confident that we can take care of ourselves 
and each other as we navigate through these unprecedented times. And if I could offer you one piece of advice, it would be to get to know your professors and advisors. Go by and visit them during their office hours or schedule a virtual, virtual visit as soon as you can. If you're having trouble in one of your classes, speak with your professor as soon as possible. Our professors and advisors care deeply about their students and they want to help you. Now, despite the disruptions that this pandemic has caused, we want you to enjoy the full spectrum of activities that the university offers. And I hope that over your four years here, you will visit our galleries and museums on campus and, and in the community and that you'll take full advantage of the beauty of the local environment, including our own Lake Laurel. I urge you to get involved and take time for your own personal health and your own personal growth. Our university desires to be a place where engaged learning happens. We hope that you will actively seek to engage in our community and the activities that go on around the university. Take what you're learning in class and apply it in a professional environment. One way you can engage is by being involved in the activities of the Gift Center. The Gift Center coordinates your involvement with a variety of community agencies and schools, and they're working on a number of programs in response to the current crisis. So please reach out to them to find out more about what you can do to help in our community. We are so glad that you're here. And as I said earlier, we're looking forward to seeing what you will bring to our campus and to our community, as well as what we can bring to you. To start, we've included a pen and a postcard in your welcome packets that you received at check-in. These include information about our alumni association and our student alumni council, which I hope you will become more familiar with during your time here. Now, best of luck to you in your coursework and growth during your first year. It's now my pleasure to introduce to you our Provost and Vice President for Academic Affairs, Dr. Costa Spiro. Hello, Class of 2024. My name is Dr. Costa Spiro, and as President Dorman mentioned, I am the Provost here at Georgia College. By working closely with our faculty and academic leaders, my role is responsible for delivering the academic experience on campus. I'm delighted to share some of the details regarding what classrooms will look like this fall. From the outset, please know that we are committed to maintaining a safe and healthy learning environment for everyone. Instruction this semester will be face-to-face -face with social distancing, in addition to other mitigation measures recommended by the CDC and the Georgia Department of Public Health. Some classes will be offered online or in a hybrid format. Masks will be required in all facilities and in areas where social distancing is not possible. You may also notice new vinyl barriers between teaching areas and students. Classrooms will be cleaned daily, and we're planning to stock classrooms with sanitizing wipes so that the instructor and students can wipe down their work or study area if they desire. The combination of employing social distancing, face masks, face shields, vinyl dividers, and sanitizing wipes in the classrooms is aimed at creating a learning environment which places health and safety as the primary consideration. And although these are unprecedented and very challenging times for all of us, Georgia College will continue to deliver our high quality academic programs with the same amount of rigor and richness that would normally be expected even before the pandemic begun. Let me conclude with a few observations and suggestions. First, know that time management is critical to your success. Time management allows you to plan and prepare to tackle your responsibilities and to achieve your goals in the most effective and efficient way. Seek out time management information available on campus. If you embrace and practice the various time management principles consistently, the results will amaze you. Second, we provide some of the most comprehensive academic support services through our nationally recognized University Learning Center. The staff offer academic workshops, after hours tutoring, 
peer-assisted study sessions, and many other services. Do not wait until the last minute to contact the University Learning Center. Third, work closely with your academic advisor to ensure you're making progress towards graduation. I know that you have not even started your first semester yet. However, we want you to complete your studies in four years or less. Fourth, faculty members are here to help you succeed. Maintain close contact with your teachers, ask questions, and make sure you remain connected. That will prove essential to your success. Finally, you will be learning more about our GC Journeys program, which is central to the rich liberal arts experience that we provide. Remember that our emphasis at Georgia College is placed on preparing you in your academic major, but also to gain the skills and knowledge that, will, that we know employers are asking for new college graduates. The ability to work in teams, analytical reasoning and critical thinking, written and oral communications, information literacy and knowledge of global issues. Once again, class of 2024, Welcome to Georgia College, and I wish you a productive and intellectually rewarding academic year. I'd like now to introduce Dr. Sean Brooks, Vice President of Student Life. Greetings, Georgia College students. Allow me to be one of the first to welcome you, the class of 2024, to campus. We're very excited to get the fall semester underway. As you may be aware, throughout the summer, we've been busy preparing our campus for your return. The Division of Student Life contains 15 departments that provide programs or services designed to help keep you on a path to success. Although the delivery of those programs and services may be a hybrid of face-to-face -face interactions and virtual programs or appointments, I'm happy to report that we're here and ready to provide you with an outstanding collegiate experience. My remarks today serve as a reminder to you about our foundational values of reason, respect, and responsibility. As outlined in the Georgia College Student Handbook, Georgia College students are expected to achieve and maintain high ideals founded on the sound principles of utilizing reason before acting or reacting, employing respect for others, for ideals, for the law, and for property, and recognizing their responsibility as citizens and members of the campus community. Given the COVID-19 pandemic, these foundational values could not be more pertinent. It's our expectation that you employ reason in how you act in response to the pandemic, employing respect for all other members of the Georgia College community, and take responsibility to help keep yourself and each other safe. As a friendly reminder, we're requiring you to wear an appropriate face covering while inside campus facilities and buildings where six feet social distancing may not always be possible, and outside where social distancing requirements are not being met. Use of face coverings will be in addition to and not a substitute for social distancing. Face coverings are not required in one's own housing suite or residence hall room or when alone in an enclosed office or study room. Please note that although enforcement of social distancing and face covering requirements ends at the property lines of Georgia College, your responsibility to keep yourself and others around you safe does not. We ask that as you move beyond the boundaries of campus, that you still wear a face covering in public and practice, practice social distancing. Remember that you will need to do your part to help to control the spread of COVID-19. Once again, allow me to welcome you to the fall of 2020 semester. If there is ever anything I or any member of the student life team can do for you, please let us know. Go Bobcats. It's now my pleasure to introduce to you Nathan Graham, president of Georgia College's Student Government Association. My fellow Bobcats, my name is Nathan Graham and it is my honor to serve as your student body president. Today, I address you as the newest Bobcats to arrive on our beautiful and historic campus. Your arrival looks slightly different from when I was in your shoes three years ago, but I sincerely hope that the opportunities you encounter and the memories you make here will be just as meaningful. 
The college experience that lies before you from this day forward will define you as a person, just as my time here has for me. One of the first parts of the college experience is learning the traditions that have built the Georgia College community. This starting with the Campus Community Pledge. Each and every Bobcat holds the important task of the continuation of our campus community. This pledge is taken by every Georgia College student and affirms your place as a Bobcat. It symbolizes the responsibility we all share as students to uphold the values of our campus. So, please repeat after me. By enrolling in Georgia College, I solemnly pledge that I will conduct myself in a manner that reflects credit on the Georgia College community. And I will uphold the honor code of the university. I will employ reason in my interactions with others. I will respect and appreciate the differences among the diverse members of the Georgia College family. And I will take responsibilities for the actions that I choose. Thank you. Our continuation of tradition comes with a banner given to each class, and your class is no different. The Class of 2024 banner, along with the banners of the three prior classes, are in display in the lobby of the Ina Dillard Russell Library. This banner will be there to remind you of your fellow classmates, and when you finally walk across that stage in four years, it will be at the ceremony. Just as other class banners have been present for past graduating classes for the past 18 years. The last bit of tradition today is a gift that you should have already received from our Alumni Council. A pin with your graduating class on it. It is a gift for Bobcats by Bobcats who have already walked the same pathways you will and are the foundation for which you will build off of. Wear this pin with pride and keep it as a badge that your institution is behind you. Daily campus life looks vastly different today than in previous years. It is true that we now face other challenges than that of our predecessors, but this does not mean we are limited. We as Bobcats are responsible for fostering our own community and rising to meet the challenges that we are presented. What makes Georgia College special is that we have always and will continue to do just that. And that is why I urge students to get involved and to get to know those around you. The idea of social distancing has made it seem as though we must isolate entirely from those around us. That could not be further from the truth. Do not let these new physical barriers wall you off from making the most of the social opportunities here. Frequently, we learn more from those around us than from textbooks, whether it is the classmate seated six feet away or the new face in the Zoom breakout room. These are connections that you will cherish for the rest of your life. You all share a sense of commonality by the pledge you just took. You are all Bobcats. All you have to do is build from there and it will amaze you the number of similarities you share with those around you. You will also likely notice differences between yourself and your peers as you gain footing in your new home. Take those points of difference as a way to educate yourself and to grow, not isolate. Looking beyond yourself will aid you in grasping the bigger picture of being a productive member of society as someone who can critically think and analyze. These moments of empathy and problem solving are the ways we build, maintain, and strengthen a family here at Georgia College. Georgia College is more than a collection of buildings, green spaces, and walkways. This campus is worthless without the student-driven community and the commitment to forwarding the ideals of reason, respect, and responsibility. The experience that lies before you will not always be easy, but I can guarantee that it will be worth it, as I assure you it has been for me. So I wish you all the best today and for a better tomorrow from your student body president. Thank you, Nathan, Provost Spiro, and Vice President Brooks. I'd also like to take this opportunity to thank our first year experience team and the countless student life professionals who have created safe and welcoming activities for our new students. And now it's my pleasure to introduce Dr. Michelle Johnson, Director of Academic Advising. Welcome to Georgia College. On behalf of the Georgia College community, it is indeed a pleasure to welcome the new first year undeclared student to our campus. We are excited to see the talent, new ideas, and contributions that you will bring to this campus. The energy that is in the atmosphere in anticipation of your arrival to our community allows many of us to look and feel 18 or 19 years of age again. Thank you for making the decision to call Georgia College home. In your new home, you will find over 1,300 first-year students, but only 175 of you 
are undeclared. And that's okay, because you have the unique opportunity to explore our liberal arts course offerings based solely on your interests, skills, passions, and abilities. Among the undeclared population, we have four valedictorians. Your average high school GPA is 3.6, your SAT score is 1194, and your average ACT score is 27. You are amongst the brightest of the brightest at Georgia College. Feel free to pat yourself on the back right here. Also, in your new home, you will find over 37 majors and concentrations to explore so that when you graduate in four years, and you will graduate from Georgia College in four years, you will be equipped with outstanding critical thinking, communication, and people skills that will lead to a professional school or a career opportunity and a successful, fulfilling life. So, while it is always wise to begin with the end in mind, I invite you to focus on what you can do during your college journey. Georgia College has a wonderful program called GC Journeys. This program is designed to help you express what you've learned in classes outside of the classroom. It can be through undergraduate research, study abroad, diversity training, and leadership opportunities on and off campus. Enough about us, more about you. As an undeclared Georgia College student, you are in good company. Over 170 of you are from Georgia, representing over 50 counties. We do have three out-of-staters. Minnesota, where are you? South Carolina, where are you? And Pennsylvania. Also, don't be surprised if you find the name of your newest undeclared best friend to be Caroline, Anna, Elizabeth, Madison, William, and or Samuel. These are the most frequent names among the first year, first year undeclared Bobcat population. As a Bobcat, we regularly display our school spirit. In fact, this year we will continue the tradition of Bobcat Fridays by wearing our school colors of blue and green each Friday. You see, Georgia College is both a great place to learn and grow and a great place to live. Your first priority, academics. Engage in every class, talk to your professors, and meet often with your academic advisor. My advice to you, find the name and contact information for your academic advisor. He or she will function as your go-to person for all things during your first semester at Georgia College. Likewise, you will find an amazing team of dedicated faculty here too. The Georgia College family cares deeply about students and we want to help you succeed here and in the life you are building. I further want to encourage you to explore new ideas, activities, and interests. Be open to learning from people who are not from your high school, county, or community. Diversity is a hallmark of the liberal arts education. Diversity of concepts, perspectives, and backgrounds. Challenge yourself to leave your comfort zone and see the world from a position that differs from your lived experience. This is the essence of a liberal arts education. Not that you know or believe everything, but that you are open to exploration and critical thinking skills that are required to develop empathy and understanding for the other. Explore the diversity of your new home, Georgia College, and learn new ways to engage yourself within the campus community, even with our present physical distancing policies. One way you can engage is by being involved in the activities of the Give Center. The Give Center coordinates your involvement with a variety of community agencies and schools. And we hope that once the pandemic ends, you will be actively engaged with the Give Center. 
Finally, as we continue to examine your new home, the novel coronavirus COVID-19 has presented our world, country, and college with a unique public health challenge. During this time, Georgia College and the Academic Advising Center remain committed to the smooth transition and the academic success of all undergraduate students at Georgia College, and specifically you, the first year student. We look forward to watching you grow both socially and academically as you begin to call Georgia College home. Nikki Simpson, Assistant Director of the Academic Advising Center, will introduce our faculty speaker, Dr. Harold Mock. Good morning, I'm Nikki Simpson, Assistant Director of the Academic Advising Center. Next, you will hear from our faculty speaker, Dr. Harold Mock. Dr. Harold Mock began his academic journey as a Bobcat, earning his bachelor's degrees in political science and history from Georgia College. He then completed his master's and PhD degrees in history at the University of Virginia. His journey brought him back home to Georgia College, where he is an assistant professor of history and serves as the director of leadership programs. Good morning to all of you and welcome to Georgia College. I hope the past few days, your first days with us at GC, have been full of excitement, meeting new people, encountering new ideas, and getting to know this place that you'll make your own across the next four years of your life. Like all of you, I am a proud Bobcat, and 20 years ago, I too was starting out at Georgia College as a new freshman. I lived on the second floor of Sanford Hall, which at that time was Georgia College's men's dormitory. We had window unit air conditioners when it was hot, steam radiators for when it was cold, though it never was, and shared bathrooms at the end of every hallway. But that's not the only difference between my time here and yours, because you're starting college amid a global pandemic. Unlike most of you, I was able to celebrate the final days of my time in high school, graduation, being handed my high school diploma, and seeing my friends before we all moved away. So I recognize, as do all of your professors, that you're starting college under a bit of a cloud. But despite the present difficulties presented by COVID-19, so much of what we do here and who we are as a community remains unchanged. The very best moments of your life will unfold in the next four years on this campus. You're going to meet friends who will enrich your lives and bring you strength and cheer. Many of you are going to meet your future partners and spouses. As I said, I am a proud Bobcat. I married a Bobcat, and now we have two little Bob kittens. But I had no idea in my first days of classes here that as I was walking to my history lecture in the Arts and Sciences building, my future wife was studying in a psychology laboratory just a few steps away. A month ago today was my birthday, and all of the friends I talked to on the phone, had Zoom calls with, and texted with were my friends from my time at Georgia College. Even 20 years later, they are the people I most want to talk with when I have something special to share, and whose friendship and advice I rely on in tough situations. You're going to meet professors who widen your outlook and who open your eyes to new ways of understanding the world around you. You're going to take classes that fascinate you and make you want to know more, that make you want to stay up late reading or talking or working in the lab. Even 20 years later, I remember, as if it were yesterday, my own moments of realization and fascination. In my case, it was a course on the French Revolution and Napoleon, taught by Dr. Martha Kieber, who is now retired, and a political science class on state and local government, taught by Dr. Veronica Womack, who I hope some of you will study with in the years to come. In fact, I challenge you, in every class you take, ask yourself, why did this professor devote their life to answering these questions? And what do I feel so passionately about, or am I so curious about, that I would commit my life to understanding it? I felt it as a student, and I still feel it every day when I come to work an overwhelming sense that anything I want to know, I can learn it here. You're going to read books and literature that forever change your outlook on the world. In my case, I learned to love history and international affairs. 
I still have on my bookcase at home some of those books I read at Georgia College that changed my life. Bajin's The Family, a novel about one family's generational conflict in late imperial China. Thomas Hobbes' Leviathan, a masterwork of political theory and dozens of books about 20th century European history that formed my ideas as a historian and ultimately framed my master's thesis, doctoral dissertation, and my current book project. You're going to travel to places far beyond your hometowns, far beyond Milledgeville, whether on a study abroad, an exchange, or an internship. Many of you will learn new languages and become conversant in another literature and culture. Like many of your professors, my work and research has and will continue to bring me to new parts of the world and into new communities different than my own. All of you will learn in classrooms, but remember that the world will always be your greatest and most fascinating laboratory. Find the ways in which your classes intersect with the world around us. How do you see the ideas you're learning from your professors at Georgia College expressed? in politics, business, and human society. Let your readings and scholarly endeavors fortify you for a world of complex challenges. As I've said, my journey to this place, both as a student and today, has been a great one. Georgia College has been a home to me and to my family. Even after four years as a student here and four years as a faculty member, I'm still excited to come here every morning to see my students, and to see my friends and colleagues. I believe in the work we do here and am eager to learn with my students and to see their journeys unfold. From your earliest days here, gather good friends around you. Make friends with people who push you to achieve and to think and to continue learning. Discuss what you learn with your friends, your families, your professors, and keep enlightened company. As the years wear on and your journeys take you far from this place, remain connected with your old friends and remember that Georgia College is the place where that journey began. Tomorrow morning, you'll begin your classes. For many of you, this will be your first time in a university classroom. So what does it mean to be a college student and to study in a liberal arts college? It means that, to you, the doors of wisdom will never be shut as Benjamin Franklin said. It means that you'll have a set of skills, ideas, and well-formed beliefs. You'll have an education that will prepare you for life and for all that will unfold in your life's journey. The single biggest differentiator between a liberal arts college like Georgia College and other institutions is our mission to prepare students for citizenship in a free society. We don't just teach you the skills you need to get jobs. We prepare you for, for fulfilling lives as citizen leaders in a democratic society. The results are often the same. Smart graduates with good skills get jobs, whether they're coming from Georgia College or other good universities around the state. But our approach is distinctive, and the emphasis we place on leadership and citizenship will be much greater. Remember, an education is not something that you get, but something that you claim. Read as much as you can. One of my favorite historians, Barbara Tuckman, who I first encountered as a Georgia College student, identified books as the carriers of civilization. Consume the arts and letters, science and engineering. Without books, history is silent, literature dumb, science crippled, thought and speculation at a standstill. Without books, the development of civilization would have been impossible. They are engines of change, windows on the world, and lighthouses erected on the sea of time. They are companions, teachers, magicians, bankers of the treasures of the mind. Books are humanity in print. No education will give you all of life's answers but a liberal arts education, as we provide at Georgia College, will help you identify and frame the right questions to ask. Martin Luther King Jr. explained that the chief aim of education is to save man from the morass of propaganda. 
Education must enable one to sift and weigh evidence, to discern the true from the false, the real from the unreal, and the fact from the fiction. And it's on that note that I want to end my time with you this morning by discussing the nature of inquiry and truth. You are entering a world that is a morass of propaganda, and some will try to convince you that there are no absolute truths, that we should all just pursue our own interests and desires. That is folly. Truth, knowledge, and morality are not relative. There are certain truths that are worth defending with all of your strength and intellect. St. Paul said that is when we reach our fullness, not to be tossed here and there, carried about by every wind of human trickery. Know these truths and let them be your moorings when the winds blow and the storms rage. Right and wrong, good and evil, love and hate will never be relative concepts. Don't confuse relativism for tolerance, opinion for belief. I often hear people feign dispassion by saying that I want to understand both sides of an issue. Some issues have only one side. Those are called facts. Some issues have 40 sides. Those are called questions. It's for that reason that every member of the Georgia College community, so now all of you, have a subscription to the New York Times. Go to the Georgia College Library webpage to activate your subscription as quickly as you can. Use your time here to practice asking good questions and finding the right answers. Let your professors guide you and mentor you. Read the New York Times and discuss it with them. If you've never read a newspaper before or need help, ask them for guidance. I'll make a blanket promise to all of you. If you need someone to help you understand how to read the news and how to integrate it into your studies, how to use your readings and ideas to help you form better ideas and become engaged citizens, I promise to sit with you and we'll figure it out together. I know it's a risk to make a blanket promise to well over a thousand people, but that's how important this is. As you enter the coming days, Please know how excited all of the faculty and staff are that you are here. We're excited to take these next steps with you and to begin your journey at Georgia College. I wish you the best in the coming days. Thank you, Dr. Mock, for your words of kindness, generosity, and encouragement. This concludes the first year convocation for the class of 2024. Please follow the instructions in your convocation invitation to join your fellow undeclared classmates in a virtual breakout session. See you soon and thank you.